Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we work hard not to follow an ideology, especially about nature, but we prefer to measure our steps regarding our progress in ecology. The interrelationship between plant, plants, animals, nature, the earth, the humans. We are slow to learn, but what we learn, we learn well. Here is a asabuche, wild olive tree. We have pruned it. It grows almost bush-like. Then we have also grafted some manzanilla, the cultured olive onto it, the scions. In this case, I drilled holes and I just Stick it in there. So uh, this is one of four different grafting, grafting techniques I have used. Let's see. This is the wild olive stem and then the cultured scions the cultured olive tree on top. Now and then it does shoot some uh, water shoots from the manzanilla or the wild olive uh, stems. But uh, hopefully we can reach this in the far future. Whenever I could remember where this wild olive trees are on the property, I did put in many grafts and I have tried many different types of grafting, even uh, a few nodes into the bark. Let's see. My favorite is just to split the wood, then stick a stick in and wrap it. Last year I Grafted some pomelo onto citrus. I had a 10% success rate. So let's see if I can double my success rate to 20% with these olives. It is amazing how moist some places even wet it is below the berms, below the swales. So uh, a lot of water did get trapped, especially here in the clay area. Still standing water. The pond still almost full. I'm very happy about that. I did add six kilos of gypsum three days ago, but uh, there is absolutely no change. 
this uh, clay particles, they are still suspended. The first two months of this year, January and February, we have already received 200 millimeters of rain. That is more than half of the whole of last year. So uh, it's encouraging. Look how green the oats on the berm of the swale is. These animals are dusk and dawn animals and uh, this is now going towards sunset. They go crazy. I have ordered these uh, different kinds of stuff from the hardware store. I've got pipes and then I've got mesh and sand and stone. This pipe, this is six meters. I have a plan for the culvert and this mesh and sand and stone I would like to construct a floor concrete floor for a metal shed we have ordered it should have been here but uh, there is some delay and uh, that will be great. I have no dedicated space to work and uh, that will help me a lot. So this pipe here. So here at the creek, at the entrance of the creek on the land. This is the high part of the land, the southern border, and uh, that tube is in my way because I want to manipulate the water flow through that sluice gate and with the pipe in it I cannot do it. There is a pipe here. So my idea is right there where the dog is now, I would like to extend this pipe and then remove that one. So that will free up this space, straight line, and then I can manipulate the water flow here when it's a lot of water I can just lift it up let the sand sediment wash out so just the end of this wall I will just open there and have the pipe going that way that's my latest thinking because I need to have better control of the flow of the water in this area. I have also built some more leaky weirs, or actually I'm in the process of building more leaky weirs. So it will be interesting to see what happens 
to the additional sand that does come down. We expect some more rain the next two days, but it's less than half an inch spread out over 12 hours. So I don't think the creek will be running. So there's no emergency right now and no urgency to terminate that new pipe installation. As I was walking on the farm wherever I found a rotten piece of wood, I collected it and stacked it here on top of the foster mushrooms, oyster mushrooms. And uh, let's see what happens. It must be millions of spores being produced. I hope it can spread. Last year we bend these berries and we place the tips into a pot of soil so we have created a new plant. Look at this one. This is my style. Less fuss, less watering, less watering. A few days ago I walked to the nearby creek that is never dry. Uh, most of the time just a trickle but all year round. Then I found that there were some mulberries, retama, poplar and I took cuttings of all of them and I stick them in here. I have planted about 500 uh, different cuttings of many kinds of plants. Here is thyme and here is lemongrass. Here I have willow and mint. Here we have sage and then we also have some asabuches, the wild olive. More lemongrass. Here in this riparian zone next to the creek, I've planted a fig. Many more cuttings here. And then another fig. Let's see what they do. Hopefully there will be some water in the creek tomorrow. I will also finish this project here. Till next time. Goodbye.